Hello, and welcome to, or welcome back to some more satisfactory uh, for update eight here. Uh, I decided to return and uh, kind of kind of see what was going on. Uh, so I've got a couple of things here that I want to get. I want to see, first of all, uh, I want to go to tier two here. I want to go to obstacle clearing uh, because that's my chainsaw and the biofuel and that's the stuff I really want. Uh, so we're going to select that milestone. And then uh, I handcrafted uh, these things so that I had them. And I didn't have to worry about them. Uh, and then I want to see, can we still do this where we go in and go... Um, part assembly would probably be good, but I want base building also. Um, select this milestone. So I need some concrete and some of those. Um, all right, so I have... So I made a, a few changes out here. Uh, so I have, uh, this is all kind of just starter setup stuff here. Uh, so basically what all I, all I did between the last episode and this one was I set up a couple of conveyor belts that come from way over there and then they come in here. So these things are automatically being built. Um, I have that stuff being, you know, basically fed into there. And then I just stuck a couple of things over here so that they can, uh, they can pick up things as, as we, as we need them. Um, and then that will allow me to not have to sit here and hold its hand. And, uh, I could let it run for a little bit while I was doing some other stuff. Uh, I was, I was doing some crazy stuff yesterday. Um, doing some smoking and, and when I say smoking, I mean smoking of meats. Uh, the, uh, smoked two pork shoulders. First time I ever did it. It was nice and new and cool and I, I really enjoyed it. Um, all right. So then I want to select this one because this is... I don't know what predictor I don't know what that is. Uh, but uh, so I'm going to do the splitters. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, all right. So we got all that. So we need. And th the reason I, I did that is because I knew I was going to need a bunch of this stuff. Uh, and this way I can actually get it. All right. Let's do that. And, uh, so this kind of, you know, makes it, uh, cheeses some of this stuff quite quickly. Um, but, uh, being able to do this stuff rather quickly, especially the stuff that I need, uh, field research, probably need the ma'am probably soon. Uh, we already have basic, I think that already did that one. Yeah, I already did that one. All right, and then field research. We can do that one also. Let's see. All right, and then I'm going to hit the launch pad and see if it launches all four of those. So we'll do that. Doop, off he goes. Bye. Should be able to in the storage box. Um, I don't think I got all of the things. I think they fixed that. So you used to what you would do is you would go in here and you would have um, all the different things that were done, right? Oh, okay. So the pod's not returned, but it looks like it allows me to do it. So it's still kind of broken, just not as broken as it used to be. What if it just keeps adding the time? Nope, it replaces it with whatever the time is. All right. So if you're smart, you would do it and then uh, figure out what the uh, the shortest time is and then do that one. We'll start working on part assembly, but I want to get other things set up to do that first. 
Uh, so jump pads, we don't, those are fine. Uh, resource sync, resource sync program is usually a pretty good thing. Uh, I do want this guy. Um, so we'll do that. All right. I'm not really worried about how long it's going to take. Uh, so I want to go in here. I want to build a chainsaw. Um, I need some cables. I need some re a couple of reinforced plates. I guess I should have actually looked and seen how many reinforced plates I need. I need five reinforced plates and 160 screws. All right. Do do. Do that. We'll make five of these guys here real quick. And then we'll make 160 screws. I think that it seems like the screws used to make more. Maybe it does it in the machine. Maybe maybe that's what what's happening here. Do, 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 do. Need 160 screws. We got those now. Now we are going to make a chainsaw because that is incredibly useful. Probably should make a, a, a scanner thing at some point too, but that can wait. What is my doggo after? I think he's barking at the wind. All right. It's a good thing about having cameras out there. Okay. So now we have pretty much all the stuff we need here. Now, uh, now that we have our chainsaw, uh, okay, we can actually even load it in. So that's good too. So we'll do that. Brank chainsaw. All right. So what I want to do is I want to do Q. We'll go with logistics. Uh, we are going to go with a merger. Spin the merger around so it's going the right direction. See if we can get it to line up. Come on. Do you like that? Get us a little bit of action like this, action like that, and action like this. Boom, bang. All right, so that stuff will all go in there like that. So that's cool. Then we're going to go here and we're going to tell us to make solid fuel. Miss an iron plate. How'd that happen? Do, 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 do. So once you kind of get to this point, especially with a solid fuel, it removes a lot of your problems. Uh, once I actually connect it. So this thing is just going to start making solid fuel for us. So it'll take both of these inputs. Um, and then once it has both of those inputs, it's going to make solid fuel. It, uh, it's a lot more powerful. It's it's uh it's better. So and then what you do is you'll run out here with your chainsaw and you'll go uh, Oh, I don't have any fuel. Alright, back back to my first problem again. Alright, fine. You don't need a lot of fuel for it. And then the good thing about this is, is then you just go in and find one thing and then it kind of cuts everything around it. So instead of picking up leaves one at a time, I just got 79 leaves in, nine, or in like 19 wood. Uh, so it's, it's so much easier. Uh, it changes your life. Uh, just because the, uh, the amount of stuff that you can kind of pick up. And then you can start getting a lot more wood. Uh, and wood is 
it makes a lot more of the uh, the fuel, so it makes your life a lot easier. Now, uh, this thing it used to have okay, maybe it doesn't do it anymore. Uh, it used to pick up the uh, pretty much everything in its, in its area. Um, so, if you did it next to like these guys, it would pick those up, and then you would then you were having problems. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run around. I'm going to grab a little bit of this stuff. Come on. Come on. Just kind of moving around until something gets the white highlight on it. And then that way I know I can. I know I can pick it up. Do, 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 do. And then, so we had eight bio or our biofuel. What are these things called? Uh, biomass, solid biofuel. Uh, so we had eight of those, and I'm not being super efficient with it. Just kind of grabbing whatever I can. I'm not going over there by the those things yet. Yeah, so many flowers. All right, so we have that. And then in the process of that, we end up getting um, almost, we got 96 wood out of it. And we got a uh, 400 leaves. Uh, which in the grand scheme of things, the wood is really more helpful, uh, because it's just, it's, it's more powerful. All right. So now we need to start figuring out where we're going to start moving things to, because I want to shut all this stuff down. Uh, I'm going to let it run until I'm kind of ready. Uh, and then I want to take this guy here and probably do this. We'll let that kind of. Build those. Yeah, because he needs 45 per minute. I think we're only giving him 30. Yeah, we're only giving him 30. So we'll just go ahead and fill that guy in. That's going to take him a little while to get caught back. Or at least he'll run solid for a bit. So, ideally, like building... Probably building and starting our factory kind of here. It's probably a good place to start. All right, so I'm going to change my build mode with build menu. I don't need that one. Build mode, build mode, build mode. Do you not get those in the beginning? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the edge of this guy. And then I'm going to build. Um, do I not get the build mode until later? So we're going to do this, kind of build these guys up here. And uh, you don't have to worry about... Uh, physics. Uh, you don't have to put structure support under these things. They will just float out in space for you like this. Hoping I could get the uh, the build mode stuff, but I guess that's later. It has been a minute since I played this stuff. Uh, 
Oh, did I? Dang it. All right, so then I'm just going to take all these back out. Uh, sorry for making y'all watch that. I forgot that having this thing, um, I, I want to have it snap to the grid. Because uh, if I have it, if I always build platforms snap to the grid, um, it makes my life a whole lot easier. Uh, because then I don't have to worry about. Let's see, let's go Q. Let's try this again. Now, I... oh, toggle build mode R. Okay, there it goes. All right, so now we're in zoop mode. All right, this is all. This is this would be better. Um, now I want to hold that to snap it to the build mode R. <laughs> now now that I get the first the first start on on that, right? Then I can do this. Much better. All right. Now you don't always want to be in zoop mode, but when you are, it makes life easier, especially for platforms and like stuff like that. Uh, because, like, obviously, if you're, um, oh, I'm out of, out of concrete. Uh, just because for platforms, you can just kind of put 10 of them out at a time and just go to town. It's great. Problem is, is I think that was all my concrete. Uh, let's see, let's do that. Yeah, you you lose you use a lot of concrete doing these things. All right, so unfortunately, uh, we are running out of space up there because uh, that's what happens. All right, now. Oh. I may have disconnected something here. Um, don't know when that happened. Production. Now, the problem is, is when you do this sometimes. Yeah, so that thing is broken. Oh, do I need concrete? Nope, I'm fine. Uh, so, basically, the... That guy was in the way. Oh, we're missing iron plates. So I kind of want to keep all this stuff down here running and producing things uh, so that I have my plates and stuff. So, because I'm going to need all that to make more things. All right, so let me get... Uh, let me get a belt here. This is fine. This is why right, now you you connect there. Make me more concrete. Um, I need I need about nine hundred thousand more concrete. That's pretty much what I need here. All right, so we'll get a smelter. So this guy here can make. You're making 60 copper per minute. Okay, easy enough. And then if we look at this guy, smelter, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this guy in just a little bit. And you'll notice now that I'm putting it on these platforms, it, it is kind of snapping to, to the platform. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to deal with it. All right, so if I do this and I go copper ingot, so it wants 30 per minute. So this can take two of them. So we'll do this and we'll do one more over here. And then you'll see the little blue lines start to appear. Those are great and helpful and very useful. 
Um, and then if we go here, so this guy is going to take uh, 30 copper in and put ore in and 30 copper ingots out. Easy enough, easy peasy. Uh, then we'll do a constructor, right? Uh, except for we are missing reinforced iron plates, which is going to make my life not fun. And I think I need to get the next level of stuff. I, I really need more, uh, more concrete. I need I need a much larger platform of that stuff. Uh, that's not what I want. Uh, reinforced concrete. I am don't have enough screws. Uh, you know what? Let's see. The problem is I don't really have enough room in here to do this stuff. Uh, and that's really, I, I knew I was going to end up having to pull all this stuff out eventually because it's just, it's the way it is. Uh, I, I, you build the things and then you have to pull them out. Do, 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 do. So, but we need a bunch of more reinforced plates. Don't like making them by hand, but uh, it's kind of where we are right now. Maybe we'll just make like uh, 20 of them. Hopefully 20 of them will give me enough to be able to start doing what I need to do. Uh, unfortunately, though, I think I need the next level of machine to be able to start making uh, the reinforced iron plates automatically. And I need a bunch of more concrete. So uh, at, at this point, yeah, it would be nice to start building other things so that we can get... Um, oh. We probably ran out of power. It's it'll probably, it's probably fine. Uh, and that's the problem is is with everything running full blast as fast as we can, uh, it causes causes me to have some problems. Uh, so, but we can go over here to this guy. We'll do this. Uh, I want to put you in here like that. I'm going to put you in here like this. And then... Uh, you were the one that ran out of power. That is fine. Turn you back all back on. Problem is, I don't think I can actually... All right, so that stuff is all going well. We'll get a lot more of the bio uh, bricks out here in a second. All right, so what do we need? We need a, a limestone, which if I need limestone, I need to get a manual miner, portable miner. And then make sure I have enough to build an actual... I do. All right. Do, 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 do. And I want to say there was a limestone node over here someplace. So, and then whenever you're going out to find things like this, uh, it's good. You can pull your chainsaw out and pick up some resources on your way. Oh, I didn't bring enough biofuel. All right. Did not grab enough biofuel. Hopefully I've got enough to take this tree out. I want to say there was a limestone node over here. Oh, ran out of ran out of fuel. All right, where were you? He said it's nice. It's been so long since I played. It's hard for me to remember where all this stuff is. And then I found it immediately. All right. Oh, memory. All right. So let's go production. Let's go mark one miner. Let's go. 
Um, probably this way. How fast are you going to go? You're going to make another 60. See how far... And if you're trying to figure out how to do that, you can kind of, once you place it, you're like, and just be careful because when you jump in the water, it removes the ability to do that. So you'll place it and then move your cursor up. Can't afford any more iron plates. All right, easy enough. So I don't think you can place them in the water. I think they, they do that. So we'll have to go to that brick or that ledge right there, which is the reason I kind of came out this way because I should be able to go to that ledge and then, then make it over here. And then we'll bring some concrete up over here. Honestly, what I'll do is because I want to say that one's 30. Um, so if I bring them over and kind of mix them together, uh, so what we'll do is we'll mix the two rows and then we'll split them. Um, uh, by mixing them and then splitting them, uh, it allows me to, uh, get an even balance to the two. So you'll, you'll get basically 45. How much, how much does, will these things take though? Um, oh, they will only use 60 per minute. So I need to do it the other way. I need to, uh, I need to, uh, split and then mix into the other belt. do that like this so we'll put it right there and then we'll go right over here someplace like that do -do -do -do. We'll get power over there to it in a second, which will probably be good because that means we're probably going to be out. We're going to be over our power limits again. Give this guy a little spin. All right. And then what I'm going to do... is we are going to build us another one of these guys. So production, 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 constructor. That's fine. That, that's close enough. All right. So what I'm going to do is we'll take three again. you down there like this um did I put it the wrong way I did do -do 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 -do. All right, so that goes in there like that, easy enough. So now we'll have concrete coming in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my queue menu. I'm going to go into organization or logistics. Uh, I'm going to have a splitter. I'm going to put a splitter over here. 
and then I'm gonna go back in again I'm gonna get me a merger put me a merger right here and then I'm gonna take this weird belt and make it do that all right so now we've got all that stuff going then I'm gonna put me another merger out here and continue with a spaghetti all right so now I just need to get power You are maxed out. You are all maxed out. You are not. Right, so we'll put you there. Then we're going to run you up here to this line. Yeah, how far we can run it now there are new uh stuff in the works so there's new power poles there's new uh there's long distance power poles which will be cool we'll have to check those out when we get a chance oh don't jump in the water The, uh, there's supposed to be a new power pole that you can run very long distances or longer distances. And it's these big things. I want to get some of those. Those are fun. Right now we're worried about concrete because we need... I need pretty much all the concrete. Um, oh, well, fine. Just do that then. So that should give us... Yep, 60 per minute. All right. It's all still working. Good, good, good. All right, there comes concrete out, which this belt should stay completely full. More importantly, not need to be ran or uh, not need to be altered. So what will end up happening is it'll get down here. Um, it's going to, uh, for the beginning, it's not gonna, it's not gonna balance correctly, uh, and I can't balance it correctly because I don't have enough, I don't have enough speed. Uh, because what I would need is I would need uh, a, like a 120 belt or a 90 belt. If I had a 90 belt, I could run both of these into one, run a 90 belt out of it. And then split it and it you know would be even uh, but what will happen is instead we're gonna put 60 in here and it's gonna send 30 that way and 30 this way um, this belt is basically gonna get 60 at all times and then eventually this one this will back up and this will start getting the basically 45 and 45 uh, but this machine will have to be completely filled first uh, so it's gonna fill this machine uh, up with as much resources as it can it will back up and then it will start feeding this one as fast as it can um, so this one will always be full uh, and this one will be basically running at hopefully at full blast once we get there and then uh yeah so it'll just be it'll, it'll eventually work out it'll be it'll be okay <laughs> I like to get like probably could do what are these speeds are these both 30 I think these may both be 30 you are 30 And you are also 30. All right, easy enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna merge these so that way I'm using my uh, my or better. So I'm gonna put a merger like right here. I'm gonna go up here, and I'm gonna do this and go. I'm gonna do this. I'll put you in there.
So what's happening is over time the uh, the rods don't need as much ore, uh, so it, it's it's causing issues. Now it's better for me to um, do this and let this this line kind of uh, empty itself out, and that way I don't have to pick up all this garbage. Uh, and then what I'll do down here is I'll put a merger or a splitter down here and then have it split. So that way we're using that stuff a little bit more efficiently. Copper is not really much I can do about it right now. Um, did we blow a fuse again? No, we're going. Why are you red? Why have you been disconnected? That's weird. I must have disconnected that a while ago. And probably when I, dis I took that thing apart, I may have hit that cable. Then, then there's the other limestone coming in. Alright, more spaghetti. It's exactly what we need today. Doing all that. Let's go get us some more bricks here. Like that, we're doing great. Do this. Put that away. And then we'll go back over here and put uh, the trees in here. Now, it's important that you put the wood and the leaves in the correct location because mixing them uh, doesn't do well. Eventually, you can have a filter that you can set up so that it will filter. But by then, you're not going to need this setup anymore. The trick here is to have this thing running at all times so that you don't have to worry about uh, fuel so that when you actually need fuel, um, you have uh, you have plenty of it sitting around. That's really the trick here. We'll do that. So we'll put all those guys in there. And then when you have wood in there, it, it will kind of overrun it. So, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going here. I'm going to grab. Oh, I got plenty of, plenty of that. We'll do this. Max that guy out. Max that guy out. Do that. All right. Do, 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 do. All right. So this stuff is all going well. It's all going well. So we have our new concrete up. Uh, basically, at this point, what we end up doing is waiting for the concrete to kind of start sorting itself out. Uh, I am going to start building this platform up here uh, and trying to get the platform built. Uh, the plan will be to build a big flat platform across here and just block the sun out as much as we can. Uh, and then we're going to take all those guys and basically start pumping them into this guy. Uh, and then uh, the next episode... I'm planning on starting um, this this uh, mess up here. And we'll have, as much as we can, we'll have a bunch of copper. Uh, I'll probably overbuild it so uh, two of these can actually handle that. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll probably actually put in like six of them. Uh, which it's not going to run as efficiently as probably it should. Um, but we don't actually, I, well, maybe I won't put it in six of them. Maybe I'll just leave enough space for six of them. Uh, and then we'll, then we'll put iron over here. Uh, and then that way we have the ability to kind of have a, uh, a nice little production facility up here and at least start building a little bit better, uh, and start putting in more of our resources, uh, before I go. So that one's still going. And then eventually I'll cut this guy. We'll put a, a little splitter in here and run him up here. 
It'll be great. It'll be great. All right, now let's go up here and look because I need uh, part assembly. Uh, it looks like for the most part we have the things we need. Um, I'll have to make some cables. So let's make some cables real quick. Make some cables real quick. I need 200 cables and a bunch of like 500 screws or something. The screws are really what's what's killing me. The uh, the 500 screws is is going to take a minute. Uh, I guess with splitters, I can kind of set some of these things up so I don't have to handcraft it. Uh, but I would rather set up that that the actual production facility that will do that. And then we'll just set up a little a little thing so we have some screws kind of sitting over to the side. That'll be great. Uh, part assembly. So let's select that milestone. Put you in there. Put you in there. Uh, so we need a few more plates. Need a few more plates. Obviously, we need lots and lots of plates. Uh, so there's that. So we need 500 screws. Which is going to slow me down a little bit. But we need to be able to make uh, the next... Um, the, basically, the next assembler. Uh, and that next assembler allows us to... Uh, take two inputs and make one output so we have to have that to be able to make the iron the uh, the reinforced plates fortunately very little ways around that you know what something else i may want to do i may try that see if it works we only need like 500 of these, so that won't take me but forever. <laughs> so, uh, but as always, uh, I'm going to get this thing sorted out. Actually, you know what? Let me look at this thing. Uh, and let's see. Select milestone. Resource sync program. Uh, awesome shop. Uh, you know what? We have pretty much everything. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll do the awesome shop. So let me get a little bit more wire. Uh, we'll get the awesome shop, and maybe I'll look at trying to do some craziness. Uh, I have I have a weird idea. Uh, I've tried it before, and it failed miserably. Um, I may maybe I'll load that world up and see if that idea works this time. Uh, before I go before I go crazy and uh. <laughs> go down a path that we have to backtrack from but with that uh if you guys are liking these make sure you throw a like on the video uh if you want to see more of them uh and stuff like that always helps me to know what you, people are watching uh and then if you have a question a comment or concern if you have an idea of some direction to go or crazy way to build things uh throw that down in the comment also uh and then uh, make sure you're subscribed to see the next stuff but with that, we'll go ahead and let y'all go. Uh, I'm going to build up a bunch of concrete overnight. Uh, and then before the next episode, uh, that way and I'll get it all deployed. So you guys aren't just sitting there watching me uh, throw concrete out all freaking day. Because it's not the most exciting thing to, to watch. Um, Alright, so that one is done. So let's go part assembly. We'll go ahead and select that milestone. We'll do that. So now we have those. We'll do that. Now we have the resource sync program. And then we'll have that one. There we go. Now we have those, both of those, those are done. So now we'll have the resource sync program. And uh, I think, how bad is it to make the assembler? Uh, assembler's not too bad. All right, with that, you guys be safe, and we'll talk to you all next time.